Well, I want to first start off just by talking a little about mitochondrial function. It's something that I think has gained a lot of, you know, popular press and, you know, a lot of just mm -hmm. lay people talking about it um, over the past few years. Can you briefly kind of describe, you know, the mitochondria, why they're important and why, you know, people should be paying attention to, to the health of their mitochondria? They're, you know, the mitochondria are probably at the very bottom of uh, why we stay healthy or why we get sick. It's the, probably the single most important determining factor there. And the reason is because on the one hand, uh, the thing that keeps us alive is energy. And that's where the energy comes from. So, uh, you know, nothing else is gonna happen if you don't have energy, right? So th uh, that's, uh, that's where all the energy comes from, the mitochondria. So that's, that's one thing that makes them extremely important. The other is they go bad as we get older. They don't get better. They start, they start to decline in their level of efficiency. Uh, and just for, just for the listeners, to give you, if you don't know what mitochondria are, let me just give you a, a thumbnail sketch. Inside each and every one of your cells, Red cells, by the way, would be an exception to this rule uh, because they actually carry oxygen, but every other cell in the body, uh, in each of every cell in the body, energy is uh, uh, created in that cell through oxygen as it gets processed in the mitochondria. So all that oxygen that we breathe in, it only has one purpose, one destination, that's to go into one of our cells and in the cell, the oxygen gets processed in the mitochondria, energy gets released, the cells use that energy to do what they do. There's a lot of incredibly important functions that the cells have to do, but every single one of those functions requires energy, and that's where the energy comes from. So if, you're mito if you have lots of mitochondria, and cells, uh, you know, a healthy cell will have in the order of three to 4,000 mitochondria in it. In each cell, if you so, if you have your a big quota of mitochondria, and if the mitochondria are functioning well, you're going to get a lot of energy in that cell, and it's going to do its thing at optimal levels. Conversely, to the extent that the mitochondria don't work as well, or you don't have as many, both of which happen with aging. Uh, to that extent, you, cells are going to have less energy, they're going to be less likely to be able to work at optimum levels, and the bottom line is, things are going to start breaking down a lot sooner. <laughs> you just can't help yourself, can you?